Hi, welcome back to Clips Recap Movie Channel. In today's movie, I'll be explaining the 2017 exciting and action-packed thriller film titled American Assassin. Be cautious, spoilers ahead. Kindly readjust and enjoy. Thank you. Mitch Rapp and his girlfriend Katrina Harper are on vacation in Ebiza, Spain having a good time in the beach. Mitch proposes to Katrina and she accepts and then goes out of the beach to get some drinks. Moments later a jihadist group lands on the beach and begins to attack the civilians with riffles. Amid the carnage, Mitch gets shot and frantically attempts to find Katrina who was looking for him as well, but she's killed in front of him by one of the jihadists. Eighteen months later, Mitch now isolated and consumed by his desire for vengeance, trains himself intensively in martial arts and marksmanship, while also been frequent on the internet on board messages where the terrorist responsible for his fiancée's murder quizzes him on aspects of Islam and Jihad. Mitch has been tracked by the U.S. Special Forces unknown to him, having secured an invitation to meet the jihadist face-to-face -face in Tripoli, Libya. Mitch prepares to take his vengeance on the man responsible for his fiancée's death. On getting to Libya the next week, he's bundled with his face covered with a black veil and taken inside to be interrogated. The jihadist asks him about the Quran and Prophet Muhammad. He answers it correctly before their leader comes and asks him why he came there. Prior to him answering, they are ambushed by the U.S. Special Forces who shoots the terrorist on his head, and his blood spills on Mitch's face. Upset over the perception that he has been denied his vengeance, Mitch repeatedly stabs the terrorist he was after, who was already dead from the ambush before being dragged out by the U.S. forces. In a CIA facility, Mitch undergoes 30 days of debriefing before being offered a chance by CIA Deputy Director Irene Kennedy to join a black operations unit code named Orion, of which he accepts after much talks with her. The head of the Orion is Stan Hurley, a former U.S. Navy SEAL and a Cold War veteran who trains recruits on asymmetric warfare, who reads Mitch's file before they arrived. Irene goes to meet Stan and tells him the necessary infos about Mitch while he was still in the car. She goes back into the car and says goodbye to Mitch and zooms off. Stan questions Mitch about his intentions about joining his group telling him he doesn't have the ability to withstand his selection process. But Mitch is adamant on his abilities, telling Stan he could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him to prove his worth. At dawn Stan trains them on how to kill a man easily without any noise or stress and then sets a fight between Mitch and one other recruit, who Mitch beats up like a baby and the training section ends. Meanwhile, in London, word comes down through intelligence channels that weapons-grade nuclear material has disappeared from a decommissioned Russian nuclear facility. The material in question appears to be heading to Iranian hardliners, who are upset with the Iranian government's nuclear deal with the US. At dawn Stan go to the recruit's room and wakes them up with gunshots querying them on why wasn't one person left on guard and then gives them 30 seconds to meet him on the ground. At the training ground, he shows them their target and tells them to memorize them, because shooting a wrong target would cause an electric shock to them. They begin finding their targets and Stan pumps in the photo of the jihadist who killed Mitch's fiancé, prompting Mitch to continuously shoot at the wrong target and in turn gets shocked. While verifying the sale of the nuclear material in a van in Poland, the seller of the plutonium is interrupted by two policemen who came to tell the driver to move his car before suspecting something strange and goes inside the van and are shut together with the buyers before the seller varnished into the crowd. In Virginia Stan sees news reports about the incident in Poland and tentatively identifies the perpetrator as a former Navy SEAL and Orion operative believed to have been killed in action and now going by the code name Ghost. The next day he meets Irene and shows her pictures he took from the news report the previous day. Irene couldn't believe it, but Stan kept on insisting that he was the one. This causes Irene to send Stan and his team to Turkey to intercept the buyer Ghost is working for and also insisting that Mitch must be in the team. Stan summons Mitch to his office and shows him the video of how his fiancé was killed. Mitch angrily stands up from the chair he was sitting on and shouts at Stan to switch the video off but instead he increased the volume causing Mitch to attack him. He rough handles Mitch and tells him never to let his emotions cloud his judgment. At Istanbul, Turkey, they're picked up at the airport by another U.S. agent Annika Ogden, 
who's been in Turkey for the past five years on duty. In the van, Stan shares their roles on the mission and instructs them to be careful. At a distance Mitch and Annika sight, their target talking to his assistant and Mitch steals the assistant's phone. They track his phone and sees information about their meeting with Ghost the next day. At noontime the next day, while tracking the buyer, Stan's team are identified by Ghost who kills a member of the team and zooms off with the seller. Stan calls off the mission as they fail to intercept the triggered device. Mitch points a gun to the seller's assistant and tells him to take him to his boss location, thus disobeying Stan's order to terminate the mission. On getting there, he's chased by three dogs but manages to get past them. He quietly sneaks into the apartment via the window unknown to them. A lady eventually sees him and raises alarm as he fights off the seller's bodyguard and kills him. He goes into the room and kills the seller while he begs for his life, and after killing the man, retrieves his laptop. As he got back to their base where they lodged, Stan yells at him for disobeying his orders. Irene comes to the scene and Stan shows her the mess Mitch had done on the news report. After much talk with Irene, she orders that Mitch remains in the mission after Stan wanted sending him home. Irene reveals to Stan that the laptop Mitch lifted from the seller's house had a $2 million bank transfer to an account in Rome. This information leads the team to Rome, where Orion operatives identify a nuclear physicist needed to craft the nuclear material into a functional nuclear weapon as he comes out of the bank. They quietly follows him to his hotel and lodges in the room beside him. At night, they are caught by ghosts who traced a surveillance camera to their room and interrogates Mitch asking for the whereabouts of Stan. Stan eventually comes to their rescue and Ghost flees via the window leaving the physicist behind. They capture the physicist and puts him inside the trunk of their car. Stan pours petrol on the physicist and threatens to blow him up if he doesn't say all he knows about the nuclear bomb project and then goes away. Later on, Mitch uncovers that Annika is an agent for the Iranians and gets into a fight with her. And she explains that she is working for the mainstream Iranian faction which is attempting to stop the hardliners from acquiring nuclear materials. During a meeting between Stan and an old Iranian acquaintance, who tells him the whole detail of the nuclear project, Ghost ambushes them and kills the Iranian with a sniper and also shoots Stan on his leg before capturing him. At the CIA safe house in Rome, Annika is being moved under guard by two Mossad agents when Mitch intercepts the car and frees her. Ghost confronts Stan on what happened between the pair of them previously, and questions Stan on where the rest of his team was. Stan refusing to talk gets his fingernails chopped off one after the other by Ghost. Later on Ghost electrocutes Stan. After the bomb gets activated, Stan reveals to Ghost's superiors that Ghost isn't preparing the bomb for them, and Ghost immediately kills his boss in front of Stan. Working together, Mitch and Annika locate the subterranean headquarters Ghost is using to build the nuclear device. They see two of Ghost men entering the building and follows them into the tunnel. After infiltrating the tunnels, Mitch locates and frees a badly injured Stan who tells him to follow Ghost before he gets away. Mitch meets up with Ghost who had captured Annika and used as a hostage, so she kills herself with Ghost's gun to give Mitch a chance to kill Ghost. However, Ghost escapes onto a boat with a nuke and Mitch manages to hop on board as well. Based on an earlier conversation, Stan deduces that Ghost intends to make a kamikaze attack against the U.S. Navy's 6th Fleet. Irene alerts the 6th Fleet of the impending nuclear attack through CIA channels, and they prepare to engage for the attack. Aboard Ghost's boat, Mitch combats Ghost and after a well-fought battle kills Ghost using the method Stan taught him. He then turns the boat and attempts to divert the boat away from the 6th Fleet to shield the ships from the blast before throwing the nuclear weapon into the sea and escaping aboard a Navy rescue helicopter sent by Irene to rescue Stan. Seconds later the device detonates, creating a massive sinkhole and subsequent tsunami that inundates the 6th Fleet vessels, but the fleet survives the blast. Later in the aftermath of the blast, Irene goes to visit Stan, who is recovering from his injuries and notes that Mitch is on vacation in Dubai while watching news reports indicating that the Iranian faction which tried to obtain the nuclear weapon will win the presidential election and is blaming the nuclear attack on the CIA. In Dubai, the faction candidate and his escorts enter an elevator in which Mitch is already present, smiling. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, 
comment, and subscribe to our channel to aid in our channel's growth. Thank you.